My name is Rajveer Singh. I'm a technical product manager at Everts for Compression Systems. So workflows typically consist of many components, um, components such as de-encapsulation, decoding, routing, up-down cross-conversion, onboarding, uh, video proc, audio proc, lip sync correction, frame sync, and finally encode stages or encapsulation stages. This can easily lead to workflows that are both complex to build, manage, and ultimately support. And then you have workflows that require both SDI and 2110 in and out. This is where I'll be introducing the 570 ITXE IP on-ramp platform. Going back to our Everts compression stack, the solution that I highlighted, the 570 ITXE, will showcase both the hardware and software components of the ITXE and the overall software control layer that ultimately provides more efficient workflows. In the diagram highlighted here, what we're showcasing is a customer that required a number of services, 300 channels of decoding, de-encapsulating, routing, frame syncing, up-down cross-converting, encoding, and finally encapsulating. As you can see, this requires many units with many different components, dedicated for decode, dedicated for de-encapsulation, whereas this workflow is greatly simplified by using the ITXE, where it can do decode, where it can do 2110 de-encapsulation, it can do the internal routing required, it can do the onboarding to do the up-down cross-conversion, video proc, audio proc, lip sync correction, while then finally feeding the encode stage to provide an IPTV output a mezzanine output, an SDI output for a facility that's not completely ready for an all IP infrastructure, a 2110 output, and overall simplifying the whole solution, simplifying um, just the workflow and reducing the overall cost. Here's another diagram just summarizing the ITXE and its different functions or software processes, such as being able to support compressed H.264, J2K, JPEGXS, or MPEG-2 decoding, along with being able to de-encapsulate SMPTE 2110 or taking in an SDI input directly to our normalization block, which can again do the up-down cross-convert or onboarding for video proc, audio proc, lip sync correction, and then finally provide an SDI output for again facilities that aren't completely ready to migrate to an all IP infrastructure provide an IPTV encoded H.264 low bitrate output, provide an H.264 mezzanine encode, uh, along with a very high bitrate J2K or JPEG XS encode that's very high quality or very good quality with very low latency. And finally, an MPEG-2 compliant XD cam stream, along with a 2110 uncompressed output, greatly reducing complexity. Finally, moving on back to the software layer, again, where Magnum provides the orchestration and management of flows, whether they're 2110 or compressed flows. View and VL Pro are used for our customer user interface layer. Insight, again, can be used for logging or big data analytics, and our products support REST API and NMOS ISO 4.5 for control and registration.